Okay, so all of the dust has been captured in, top, in the, uh, or most of the dust, about 99% of the dust has been collected in the uh, cyclonic separator. Um, I know there's some dust in the first bucket, but these um, lids are almost impossible to get off, so I'm not going to take it off because I know that everything else is collected in there. Uh, inside of the uh, crusher, there's um, some residual uh, glass um, beads, but those glass beads are too large to fit through the uh, screen, the output screen, so consequently they'll stay in the crusher until they either are pulverized into dust or into particles that are smaller than the output screen. Um, and so um, we'll just continue on crushing the rest. We put the crusher back together again and we'll have at it. Okay, the first pound, the first five pounds turned out to be a pretty successful run, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run the last 20 pounds, the last 15 pounds to make the 20. So we turned everything off and took the lids off everything. Still haven't taken the lid off of the uh, first bucket. There's very, very little dust in the vacuum cleaner, but there is some. Maybe one or two percent of the dust that was uh, um, produced got collected in there. Uh, turns out that there's, you know, probably maybe five to ten grams of, um, of coarse. Uh, mixed frit left in the crusher that would need to be vacuumed out and then <clears throat> this is the bucket with a cyclonic separator on it so what you have here is the finest of finest powder. This is like, um, can you see that? Yep. So here we have uh, pretty much fine dust, particle sizes less than a sixteenth of an inch. And then more of the dust that didn't get agitated and sucked out of the first barrel. 